Hello everyone, thanks for joining. It's Patty from PS Paper Crafts and it's Friday, time for another fun fold card. So today we're going to be making a flip up, flip out fun fold card. Isn't this fun? I found this on Pinterest. There were only a couple of them out there and I never know who to give credit to um, who the originator is. So we're just going to say I found it on Pinterest. So the, the products that I use for this one are the Flight and Airy. I love this paper. This is Celebration and the end of February you won't be able to get it anymore. It's free with a $50 order in the U.S. and it just has such, it's like a watercolor um, look and just the, the papers are so pretty and I love birds so <laughs> um, it's right up my alley. And I'm using the Cake Fancy uh, Birthday Wishes. And then on the inside, I have Enjoy Your Special Day. And I stamped some of the flowers from this set. This is a fun set. I haven't made the cake yet. I've seen a lot out there, and I'm, I'm going to give it a whirl. And then I use the um, Everyday Detail Dies. These are fun. I, this is the first time I use them. So there's circles, and then there's... Um, these lines and these won't cut they'll just punch holes so it'll be on uh, whatever whatever you're you're cutting it would be on that strip and then behind it there's rectangles and then this fun piece and I actually do I have it yeah I uh, I was playing around with it I was thinking I was going to cut a piece but it actually cuts it like this see so it would be nice to go across but I thought instead of the ribbon I would do this piece and <laughs> it just didn't work out I was like oh that's how it works so sometimes you just have to play with it to learn how things work so I, I use this on this card and I'm also going to use it on the card we're going to make today so I just thought these were fun I love shaped dies that you can um you know just kind of standard um die die shapes and then I use the blooming pearls for the the dots here so that's this card now let's go get started. We're going to use some brand new product that will come out March 5th. It's a new um, online exclusive and it's a sweet and it's called Cafe Latte, a little, a little latte. And the paper, this is the paper, it's 12 by 12. And I have to admit, I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. I don't even like the smell of coffee. I'm a tea girl, but I love this paper. And this could actually be hot cocoa. How's that? <laughs> so the paper is just so fun. I mean, look at this. And you get two of each pattern, and there's some fun things on either side. So I used a couple of pieces, and I think the dies actually will cut these out as well. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. But again, this will be available. I got it early because I'm a demonstrator. So uh, starting March 5th, there'll be this online exclusive. And there's there's a lot of different, uh, different products that are coming out. So that's the paper. And then let me get, there are, uh, there's the stamp set. And then there's dies, cups, the um, French press machine the top of a cup. There's all kinds of things, and I think these are so pretty. Uh, we'll use some of this today. There's a li little group of coffee beans, one, there's a little splatter, and then there's also this ribbon that we're going to use today. It's like a polka dot, natural, but it's a polka dot ribbon. And then there's these um, adhesive back swirl dots, and these are really pretty. They have, I hope you can see it, they have kind of a a little swirl on top of it. So we'll be using all of these products today. And I just thought I would uh, share with you before they come out. You probably see a lot of um, projects being made as you know demonstrators have gotten their pre-orders and start using it. So we're going to use Pecan Pie and Lost Lagoon. Those are the colors we'll use. And let's get started. So you are going to need a full sheet of um, your card stock. You're not going to get two cards out of this. You're going to have a couple of little leftover pieces. So on both cards, I'm using the thick basic white. So the thick is good for a card base. It's a little bit heavier than the plain old basic white. And what we're going to do is get our trimmer out and we will put it on the 11 side and we're going to score it at five and a half. 
Okay, so we'll just go up and down a few times. And then we're gonna rotate it and we're gonna score it at two and an eighth and we're actually gonna cut at two and an eighth. So we'll go to two and an eighth and I'm gonna score it, score it, but I'm gonna just cut it as well. So we're gonna go up here and then we're gonna go down just below our score line. If you go up to the score line, and I'll show you what I mean, it's a little bit bulky. So we're gonna just go right down. We'll go to five and a half. That's where our score line is. And I'm just gonna come down like another, maybe an eighth, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing here. Um, and I did it this way. I'll give you the measurement. It's six and something. Um, but I'll give you that measurement. But I just do two and an eighth on both sides. So two and one eighth. And we're going to put that up there. And we'll just score it. And then we're going to lift this up. Because we're going to go from here. So we're going to go um, a little bit before, so it would be five and one, two, three eighths, a little bit below that, and cut it. Okay? And then we want to cut these off. You can do it with the trimmer, or you can do it with your snips. So we're going to go down just below it, where this line is. And actually, I think I'm going to just snip it. I think that's easier. So I'm going to take my paper snips. And we're just going to go right straight across. And you want to get to that right there. Okay? If you're not able to cut it straight, you can just put it in there. And um, it's really just a little bit below the score line that you want to cut it. Okay. All right. So these scraps. This, we're going to fold down. Let's get rid of this. We are done with that. Get our bone folder out. Yes burnish it that way and then we're going to burnish it this way and then this side and you can always trim it up if you need to so that's the the little trick is if you just cut up to this line it's very bulky here and it won't close and lay right it's just there's too much at the line. So you just want to come a little bit below it, okay? Just like that. So now we have our card base, and now we just want to decorate. So I have my pieces. I decided I wanted to use this pretty um, top of the coffee cups with all these designs. So we're just going to adhere this down, and it's got the white rim around it. I love this. There's something about <laughs> the coffee rings that is, is really cool. And I'm going to do it this way just because it's a little, a little bulky, bulky the other way. We just want to center it. And as usual, I have all of the dimensions, the measurements, the steps, all of that um, on a project sheet. Below, if you look below this video, there's a description and then there's links. There's links to my blog, there's links to my online store, um, there's a link to sign up for my newsletter uh, or, you know, my, my uh, email subscription. Uh, so just you'll find the link. It's to a project sheet, but down there. I know some have asked me about that. Now we have our strips and you can do whatever you want. You know, you could do them this way, this way. I thought I would have these pretty hearts here. And again, I'm gonna open it up so I can see where I'm at. <laughs> and we'll put this down, and then this is this side. I've seen uh, 
the ice cream cone set. I've seen a lot of people use this for the ice cream cone, the, the ice cream swirl. Patty Bennett showed us that. She's my upline upline. And uh, she showed us, and I thought that was a great idea. So we're just going to put our panels down. Once you have your card base and your pieces cut, you just, you know, most of these cards, you just then kind of build it. And we'll put this down. I was just thinking, is there a right or a wrong way for this? And there's not. <laughs> the hearts go both ways here. So after I put it down, I thought, wow, the heart is upside down, but each row is the same. There you go. And then you could decorate and you can use the same patterns for the inside. This I love. I love a stripe and it's Lost Lagoon. And I think that's such a, a soothing color. So we're just going to put this here, our splats. And then this. So yeah, I drink hot tea all day long. And I love it. Never, never acquired the taste for coffee. Don't really know how to make it. I mean, I do make it, but not anything fabulous. Not all those fancy things like the lattes. <laughs> and then we have our base to our card. So on this, what I thought I would do is stamp this cup in the Lost Lagoon, and then I'm going to use a, a thanks so much. So we're going to stamp this, put a little coffee in it. Thanks so much. So I have my stamp mounted, and we're going to use the Lost Lagoon, and then we're going to stamp it and die cut it. So let me get my machine out and we'll get the die out. So aren't these dies fun? I mean, that's that coffee pot. Um, I don't know, it just seems like it's a fun set. So we'll put this down just like this. We'll get some post-it tape. I always do this and then I pick up my machine <laughs> and it messes it up. I should put the machine down first and then put that tape on. So let's get this going. Put this down. I've got my, my base plate, my number two plate, my bottom cutting plate, and then my top cutting plate. And I like to have the top cutting plate hang over a little bit. It just seems to give you an easier start. Sometimes it feels very bulky going through. Okay, so let's get this off and we're done with our machine. this over here we'll put this over there so now we have this we're going to put this on here we will stamp in pecan pie i think pecan pie is a great color for this um this paper it's one of the colors in the paper we'll do a thanks so much right like that i'm always amazed with the stamp how pretty it is <laughs> How easy it is and then oh I shouldn't have put that down I meant to put the ribbon down so we're not going to do the ribbon but let me tell you I did that on here so I put the ribbon on this layer before I put the layer down I was so eager to put this layer down so the ribbon I mean I could put it around but then it'll be on the back of here and I don't really want that unless I did it this way let's see and hit the ends would that be a bother? If you open it up, I think that would be okay. All right, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> so we want this about that long. 
because I do like this ribbon and I think the polka dots and these dots are pretty good together. All right, how's that? And then we'll cover this. So let me get, I wanna get some strong adhesive. Um, where's my tearing tape? Do, 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 there it is. I just want something strong for this ribbon. It will be a little bit bulky behind this, but I'll put that up on dimensionals and we'll be all good. There's always a way. If you do something different than you wanted, you could always somehow change it up. So we're just going to put this down. So usually I use scotch tape and I tape it in the back before I adhere the layer down. Okay, so let's do another little, another little piece of this. Oh, there we go. Put that right there. Sometimes it's hard to get the backing off the ribbon. The whole thing wants to come up, but. All right, so let's do nice and tight. And we'll just, there we go. No one will ever know what I meant to do. And then I was going to pop this up. I think I still will. So we'll get some dimensionals. And put them on here. I do that a lot where I put the layer down. I'm so eager to get the layer down and uh, I forget that I wanted to put ribbon behind it. Do you ever do that? But it all works out in the end. Let me get my scissors away. So we're going to just, I kind of thought I would put it at an angle just like that. And then let's put, so I'm gonna put dimensionals above and below where the tape, where the um, the bulk would be, because I don't want dimensionals on top of the ribbon. So we'll put three up here and then three down here. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise it will be dimension on top of ribbon and it will just make it too bulky. So we'll take the backs off of these. I love my dimensionals. And then we have what the inside and then some bling. Thanks so much. Oh, and I didn't do that. Let's see if we can sneak in. I'm ahead of myself here. Before I stamp that, before I put that down, I wanted to stamp this little, it might be weird because it's a little bit bumpy there. Let's see, sorry about my head. Okay, that worked. Don't do that at home. <laughs> it's a little dangerous. Okay, so now we can open this up. You'll have the ribbon, but I think that's okay. And now we have to put an inside in. Isn't it fun? Send that to a coffee drinker. So what I thought I would do inside is put this coffee, I'll show you. Like the top, you're looking down at the coffee cup and then this heart. And I thought maybe some splatters, but we'll see. I'm not putting any kind of a sen sentiment in. So let's get our Lost Lagoon again. I'm trying to think of which way it should go. I guess like this. Okay, and then on the coffee, I'm trying to decide if I want it direct or stamping off first. Let me just get a scrap paper. And see how it looks. So this is what I do sometimes. I don't know how I want it to be. So <clears throat> I'll try it on scrap. So we'll do it direct. 
and then we'll do it a second time. This is called stamping off. So you're taking the first layer of ink off. I think it's good direct. Pretty. And I thought about coloring it in, but I think this is fine. Um, so let's put this down. Get some uh, stamp and seal. And then we'll have to figure out where to put our little gems. Oops. Sorry about that. That was a little loud. Should I put some coffee splatters to match this paper? I kind of like the coffee splatters. I did have it out. And... Let's see how they look. Okay, we're going to do a stamp off. And I should do it down here. So here's a little, a little trick. If you already have your layer down, you can put, if you want to go off the layer, you're going to stamp it off. Good. Okay, so then you could write your, your whole inside there. And let's get some of these, this swirly, I think I'm going to use this color. I think that would be best. Let me get your take your pick tool. Let me put one down here. Okay. So the card is done. So we've got the birthday wishes with the flight and airy paper. I mean, is that too many birds? I think not. Pretty. And then we've got the thanks so much with the uh, cup of latte. What is it called? <laughs> Something new to learn. The a little latte. So again, this will come out March 5th. I love it. All right, thanks so much for joining me. Um, just a little reminder, celebration ends February 29th. It's leap year, so we get an extra day in there. Um, so if you wanted to get any of the products for free, um, you're running out of time. <laughs> so during celebration, there's a great promotion going on. If you join as a, stand, as a demonstrator, you can get, it's on the back of the um, celebration brochure on page 17. You can get this, uh, there's two options. You can get the glass mat, um, which comes with the silicone mat as well. And then there's a cleaning cloth. Okay, so for, let's see. If you wanted to do that, you could. That's a $60 retail. And where is it? <laughs> Let me find it. Um, for $99, you can get $125 in product. The mat you know, this whole kind of package, and free shipping. Uh, pick whatever products you want. You don't have to, um, you know, pick certain products. It's whatever you want. You can pick clearance products. And then uh, the option two is you'll get, instead of these products, if you already have them and don't want them, you can get uh, $30 in additional products. So you would get 125 plus the 30 so that'd be 155 dollars worth of product for only 99 dollars and again free um free shipping on that order and then after that you get 15 percent off on future orders it's really great um i love all of the community that i have at stampin up and um i love the products so if you if you're interested just email me patty at pspapercrafts.com i can answer any questions you have but the clock is ticking on that. So anyway, thank you for joining. Come back next Friday for another fun fold. I'm working on my March um, calendar. So we're 
next week the fun fold is blank so you'll have to wait and see what that is but i'll be coming out with my next month um calendar in the next i'm working on it so <laughs> it'll be out before march 1st all right so have a great week and we'll see talk to you soon thanks bye